Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a museum staff member shares a closer look at an object from the permanent collection and poses questions for discussion. Check back weekdays at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. I'm Emily Bauman, and I'm the curatorial assistant for photography here at the museum. Today, I'd like to look with you at a photograph by Guy Mendez titled Juliet Lee Moore. This gelatin silver print measures approximately 12 by 8 inches and depicts a woman standing at the edge of the water. Her figure appears in the lower left of the image, her face shown in profile with eyes cast downward toward something out of the frame. She seems small against the backdrop of leaves that rises to fill three quarters of the image. The scene has a magical glow, flecked with droplets from a waterfall that look a bit like candlelit paper lanterns an effect caused by the way a camera records light within exposure time, in this case, 1 60th of a second. I find myself wanting to linger with this photograph. I can imagine the feel of the rocks under her bare feet, the water at her toes, and the sense that time stands still amid nature. The artist Guy Mendez describes this portrait as the first interesting photograph he ever made, he had enrolled at the University of Kentucky to study journalism in the mid-1960s, studying with authors including Wendell Berry and Guy Davenport. Berry introduced Mendez to Ralph Eugene Meatyard, one of the leading figures in the Lexington Camera Club, which Mendez joined. Shortly after Mendez made this portrait in 1968, he took it to a Sunday afternoon salon meeting, where it was met with the praise and approval of Meatyard, Davenport, and other members of the community. Lexington photographers who attended such salons and club meetings challenged each other to explore new ideas, and the rhythm of regularly scheduled meetings kept members motivated to keep creating new works. Decades after he made this photograph, Mendez still remembers how encouraged he felt to have the support of his creative community. Who or what inspires you to keep creating. Amid the social distancing efforts to curb the spread of COVID-19, how do you connect with the communities that empower you? Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you again at the museum soon.